Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be creating this. It is an in-game chat and I'm going to be showing you how you can integrate this into any GDevelop multiplayer game easily. Now for this we're making use of this GDevelop template. Now you can make use of this or any game of your choice where you've set up the multiplayer. Now if you don't know how to set up, you can click on this card right here to learn more. Okay, to get started we have two objects in our scene. We have a text input and we have a BB text. Now as you can see currently I've modified the text of the bb text right here and i've also done the same to our text inputs where i've changed the placeholder to say press return to send apply now we have these two objects in the scene and i've placed them on the ui layer the scene object on the ui layer follows the camera so with this let's go into events and set up the logic in here i'm going to create a new group and we're going to call this chat and in our chat let's add a condition to check if it's the beginning of the scene now at the beginning of the scene, I wanted to change the text of our chat's text, change it, and this should clear the text, that's it. Now with this, let's handle once return key is pressed. So if I add a new event, add a condition, key released, and the key we'll be checking for is our return key. So if this condition is true, let's add an action to send the message. So search for message, send custom message to other players, and you need to specify a name here. I'll call this chat. Now this name is important because we're going to use this to identify the message later on. Now in our message contents, let's get what we have in our chat input, which is our text input, and let's get the text, and here we go. Let's add a condition to ensure you cannot send an empty message. So for this condition, let's get our chat input, let's get text, and let's ensure it's not equals to double quotes, so it's not empty. Let's clear our chat input text once a message is sent. Input, text, and clear. And finally, let's handle receiving the message. So in our new event, let's add a condition and let's say message received from another player. Now we need to get our message name, which is chat. So the message is received. Let's add an action. Let's get our chat. Here we go. Let's change the text here. Now let's display who sent the message and the message. So the name of the person who sent the message is going to be bold. Now to do this, let's add the quotes. Let's add some square brackets. And we're going to go with bold. Let's close this. This should be our bold opening tag. Let's add a plus sign. Now let's get a player based on his number. So we can do this and you can search up username and you should see player username right here. Now we're going to select this. And for the number, now our expression requires a parameter. This parameter should be a number and it's going to return the username of the player with that number. So instead of just putting a number in here, let's make use of an expression which returns who sent the message. So for this, say message and we have the message sender and for the parameter we're going to type in the name of our message which is chat so this expression right here is going to return the number of the player who sent that message so we're going to make use of this number to display the username so with this let's close our bold tag i'm going to add a plus sign here and let's go slash b okay now we can go ahead and add a colon sign here so it separates the username from our message and for the message we can make use of an expression which is data and this should get the message data right here and just like before for the parameter you need to specify the message name which is chat now we also need to add a new line to this. So once I send a message, the message is added on the next line and not the same line. So for that, let's add a plus sign and let's make use of the new line right here. And finally, you need to change your modification sign to add. If you set this to set, so it's going to replace the previous text. Okay, so with this, we can preview. Let's go into lobby, launch preview to Windows. One here, one here, join, let's join here, and join here, let's start the game, and here we go. So if I send a message here, let's say, hey, you can see our message is displayed right here. If I also send a message here, how are you? You can see our message is displayed right here. Now I want my text to move upwards whenever a message is sent. So to do this, let's go back into our events, game scene events. Let's add an action right here. And in here, we're going to select our chat text. We're going to get the Y position of it. And for the value, we're going to set this to our chat input Y position. And we're going to subtract our chat text height from it. Okay, so we can hit OK. So if I try sending a message now, let's say, hey. So you can see it moves upwards. We go here and say, how are you? And there we go. Now, final addition, I want to assign a color for each player so it's easier to identify who sent a message by the color of their name. So to do this, let's go back into events. Okay, so in your events, you're going to press V on your keyboard. 
it should open the game scene variables and what you need to do is add a new variable right here and you need to name your variable for this um, main mind color let's make this an array now array is going to contain a list of all the possible colors for our game currently we have four players in our game which is our the maximum limit so i'm going to set this to four children for the type we're going to set this to a text 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 and so i'm going to use this 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 and this if you have more than four players in your game you can go ahead and make this up to the number to apply this and back into our events let's open up our bb code text action now in here let's make use of our color tag so square brackets and i'm going to call this color let's add an equal sign okay so we're going to make use of the bare number to target elements in that array to do this let's add a plus sign right here and in here let's get our array color and we need to get our square brackets now in here we're going to get our message sender there we go and we need to specify the message name as a parameter so in here we're going to set chat so this should return who sent the message now since our array index starts from zero what we need to do is add a minus one right here so if player number is one it's going to subtract one that should be zero and that will pick the first element in the array or in this case the first color in our array okay so let's add the second square brackets for our color tag so i'm going to click a plus sign in quotes and we can place this in here and finally we need to add the closing tag so let's go double square brackets let's add a forward slash and call it. we click ok and let's launch a new preview okay so here we go if i type my word hey so you can see the name displayed with the color and the message sent so on this order player can say jump to the left space here return and you can see this so there we go that's how to create an in-game chat for your g develop multiplayer game in the next part of the tutorial i'm going to show you how you can filter out bad words from your in-game chat so if you found this tutorial useful don't forget to like subscribe and share i'll see you guys in my next tutorial